It all began in the heart of Baltimore, Maryland. A young Devin Haney, guided by his father, Bill Haney, stepped into the Upton Gym. I already knew what an Upton Gym was because I already came up and knocked on the door, so I already knew it had real I already knew that, that, that y'all had some that was sharp than my shorty up. There, he sparred with the talented Tank Davis. So we went out there, we sparred. He touched me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm dangerous. Davis emerged victorious. As they grew older, their paths diverged. Tank Davis made the bold decision to skip the Olympics and turn pro. His explosive style and relentless determination quickly caught the attention of the local boxing community, and he became a rising star. It was during this time that he formed a close friendship with Adrian Broner, a fellow boxer with a larger-than-life personality. Meanwhile, Devin Haney embarked on a different journey. He chose to study under the Mayweather family, training at the renowned TMT gym. Under their guidance, his skills sharpened and his technical prowess flourished. The next champion I'm going to make, that's the next floor, Mayweather Jew. When did you know he was going to be special? How long ago? I, I was training him when he was about 10 years old. The rivalry between Tank and Devin took an unexpected turn when Adrian Broner and Floyd Mayweather made a bet. Oh, so it was money bet? Absolutely. Hold up. We got no problem with getting no money. Ah. Floyd already announced that on his Instagram that me and Devin about to spar. Adrian Broner was fighting Sean Porter. Porter. Right after the win, we went over to the gym because he, he wanted to see Tank oh. a box Devin Haney. Floyd was like, oh, AB got this guy. He want to spar you. He, he your size. I'm like, what's his name? He like, Javante Davis. So from out the fight, we go straight to the gym. Boom. It's probably like 100 or 200 people in there. The two young fighters sparred for the second time. And it was doghouse rules, fight to the finish, first person to, first, first person to stop, loses. They get in there, Tank hit that <laughs> boom. Then he hit him again and he uh, like went out. Almost knocked him out at Floyd Jump, did they tell you that? Almost knocked him out. Like, Adrian jumped in the ring and... I jumped in the ring because at the time, Devin is 17. I'm like, hell no, nah, this is a kid. It's gonna, it's, gonna fall, it's gonna fall on us. That's with 16 ounces on headgear. With eight ounces on, no headgear, bro. Bye bye, bro. Bye. That shit would've been over with. Like, no, nah, it's over with. A Bill jumping in the ring, his dad. Yeah. And everybody was just about to fight. Yeah. Cause I caught him, man. It was about to go down. About billions versus the billions. It calmed down and um, they got back to working and we get in there, boom, Floyd in my ear. He was actually in the ring while we were spawning. While me and Devin was spawning, he was grabbing my arms like, while I'm trying to punch Devin, he was grabbing my arm like, nah. And Tank, Tank got, got a little bit more fatigue and Dev got off, but get off a little bit. But it wasn't it wasn't, it wasn't like really like getting off. It was just like some good ass work. You know, Devin Haney was in good shape. Tank wasn't in good shape, but it worked. And it was it was some crazy work. It was more so of back and forth, and then once I got tired, then it was like a little like he picked up a little bit. And once they kept going, Devin got you know Devin got the best of them. And as my dad would say, we left with the cash. I left with the cash. We left with the cash. This legendary sparring match had a profound impact on the destinies of all involved, especially for Tank. You see, at the time, Davis was on the verge of signing with Adrian Broner. I gave him the Floyd. Mm. Every time we bring it up, Floyd like, thank you, AB. You, you gave me a good one. Tell Devin and his dad to get out my... Be sure to like and subscribe for part two.